Hi everyone, and welcome to this episode of Student Built. As the title would suggest, in this episode I'm going to be showing you how to make your very own remote control BB-8 droid from Star Wars for less than £20. Now, as always, all the parts and the prices that I've, uh, I've used in this project can be found in the description, along with a link to my Instructables page for a more in-depth uh, breakdown. We're going to start off by using these acrylic baubles or fillable ornaments to make the body of the droid. I did originally start off by getting a really cheap blade of 50p and cutting it in half, but as you can see here, it does have the uh, little bit of plastic inside, and these imperfections will make it very difficult in the future for the ball to run properly. So I decided to kind of spend more money and invest a little bit more on these on these baubles, although I say invest more, they still were very, very cheap actually for what they are. They're perfect, they're smooth, they clip together very, very nicely. Um, the, the lip here is, is pretty much non-existent, which is which is very nice if I can get these two together. <laughs> here we go. Um, yeah, as I said, the, the lip is very nice. It rolls very well. Obviously, we're going to need to remove the uh, the loops for it to work properly. Um, the only thing is, as you can see, the car doesn't properly fit. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to take my box cutter. I'm going to have to cut a load down, unscrew some stuff, um, and if need be, we're going to have to take the part of car, uh, take the car apart, and reassemble it within the ball to try and uh, make it all work properly. So, so let's get down to it. Okay, so this is what the car looks like now that I've finished. As you can see, I've taken off quite a lot from both sides. I've completely taken off everything, everything there. I have screwed the hubs for the wheels back on simply because I'm going to put things over the top later. So these will basically stop anything from going into the wheels. I've also put some tape over here to stop the, the electromagnet there from coming off. Um, that's pretty much everything I've done here. Um, now onto the baubles. As you can see, it's very scratched. So what I've done is I've taken sandpaper and I've literally just run it around over and over again inside the same with this one the idea is you want to get as much traction here for the wheels as possible and obviously make it as smooth a smoother ride as possible so let's pop this in here and hopefully if I can get, the, get this thing off it should be able to run very nicely so after about half an hour of intense hacking away with the box cutter, I finally managed to remove the loop from both halves of the uh, of the fillable ornament. It did crack a little bit, but I put a bit of tape over it, and you know it, it's still fine. As you can see, it works it works perfectly. The the turning circle is not amazing, I must admit. You have to turn slowly, but you know it, it works, and we're, we're that step closer to having a working BB-8 joint. I created the head literally by getting a ping pong ball and getting some scissors and cutting it in half and that's, that's what you see in front of you now. Using a compass and pencil I outlined the main circles for the head and then freehand used a black marker, a pencil and an orange marker to do, do the rest of the major features. Okay so I have a head finished here looking very nice and a little circle of cardboard that the head fits very very nicely on top of. Um, that should be an almost perfect fit. Okay, so what we're going to do now is going to take a compass and I want to pop that pretty much as close to the center as you can, like that. There you go. And the idea of this is that we're going to use a screw, as I'll show you later. So, where's my pencil gone? I've just had it a minute ago. Oh, here we go. I'm going to prod the pencil. All right, through. There, you don't want to make the hole too big. I reckon that'll do for the time being. We'll see if the, uh, the screw fits in there, if I can find where I've popped pop that. Uh, there we go. Um, actually, this, this, one's, this one's a lot bigger than I'm gonna use, but it'll, it'll work for the thing anyway. So I'm gonna slowly try and screw that in. It's important that you try and screw it in, otherwise it will it will destroy the, the thread. Okay, so now that's in there nicely, and happy that that'll fit. I'm gonna screw it back, back out, and now we can get round to gluing the head 
onto there. And once we've done that, then we are very close to finishing to finish the head. So let's go around go around here. We've got any super glue left, that is. Like that. Oh there we go. Pop that around the edges. I had originally glued it on beforehand, but of course I forgot to uh forgot to put the screw hole through, so when I tried to put the, the, the hole through the cardboard, it just pushed out anyway, so right, there we go, that'll do. And we'll try and align this the way that I cut it out. I should have paid more attention to that. Never mind. Um Right. There we go, that looks like it's a pretty good fit. Uh, right, we'll leave that there. Well, leave that there for a minute. I'll come back in a couple of minutes once that's once that's dried. Okay, so that's pretty dry now. What we're going to do is I'm going to take the mag, uh, the uh, the screw. This is the screw we're going to be using. It's not too big, not too small. I mean, it is. I've I've tried with quite a few screws when practicing, and this is pretty much the perfect screw in terms of the magnetic strength uh, for the project. So let's see if this fits in here now. Let's screw that in. Like so. And voila, there we go. I might turn the side down a little bit to get rid of this excess excess cardboard. But once I've done that, we'll have ourselves a, uh, a working head. Okay. Now we've finished with the head, it's time to move on to the cool part of the project, the, the part that really makes BBA stand out. And that is this hideous little thing here. This is the mask that will attach to the RC car and to our head here. As you can see it's more than strong enough. I'm trying to take it off. It'll, uh, like that. Right, um, as you can see, for, for this part of the project, literally all you need is corrugated cardboard, toothpicks, and the magnet. Again, the, uh, the type of magnet that I've used will be in the description if you want to, uh, to go and copy that. So uh, now let's get on to how I made this. Now to start things off, we're gonna make the base for the mast. We're gonna make this out of corrugated cardboard because it's well, it's just brilliant for this really. Uh, it's cut out with a box cutter. Um, as you can see, I'm cutting out a rectangle. The ideal size for the rectangle is to be just bigger than the circuit board on top of the car, so you can still tape it on there very nicely. Now for the mast itself, I just used toothpicks. The good thing about corrugated cardboard is you can push the toothpicks in there and they'll stay pretty much by themselves, or they shall be gluing it later. Um, as you can see, I used the magnet as, as a, a guide, if you will, to decide where to put the toothpicks, because the idea is they should really be able to hold it without any other support. Once I had finally decided on the arrangement of the toothpicks, I pushed them all the way through the cardboard to make some big holes, pull them back out again, and using my box cutter, I cut them all down to size. Now just dab a little bit of super glue in each of the individual holes and push up the, uh, the toothpicks. You want to get the magnet that you use and use that as a way of, uh, of holding the toothpicks in place. I've got a second magnet to prop up the, the magnet that I will be using and then use electrical tape to wrap it round and round the toothpicks so that they dried in the, in the required position. Now that it's dried, I've got some more electrical tape and wrapped it around the car as, as to tr basically secure the mast on there. <coughs> I wouldn't recommend gluing it or doing anything permanent this time because you really need to spend a lot of time to try and get the distance between the magnet in the mast and the magnet in the head right because this is a very long and tedious process so gluing it and making it permanent could just screw up your build right there. As you can see, the head now fits on perfectly. We can wobble it about or whatever, it'll stay on. The magnetic attraction is not so much that it clamps the ball so it still rolls. We now have our very own working BB-8. Uh, as you can see, I've, I've put some finishing touches to the, it off, to the final car. I put some counterweights at the bottom to stop, basically to stop the, uh, the car from flipping because the the center of mass was too high basically and every time it drove it would flip then obviously the, the head would go flying and it wasn't ideal but no now that's that's done we have our very own working bb8 droid unfortunately guys i'm no good at photoshop so i am yet to be able to make a sensible for, for the, the body of BB-8 basically. So in the meantime, that is it, that is the finished product. You now have your very own remote control BB-8 droid. 
if obviously anyone watching this and is good at Photoshop and would be willing to, to make me the, uh, the stencil for the body for maybe five pounds and obviously uh, reasonable uh, credit then please let me know and I'll update a I'll upload an update video but in the meantime yeah that's it I hope you've enjoyed this video guys if so then uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe you can see my instructables page in the uh, in the description of this video which is basically the entire video but in word format with a lot more it's all a lot more clearly broken down I cover a lot of stuff that I kind of breezed over a little bit in the, in the video my next video is probably going to be on how to make a quadcopter for less than £25. I think we'll be 25 for that one. So if you want to see that, then obviously, yeah, subscribe. Um, and thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed. See you later.